construction from foundation to finishing. I'm just fine with Fifi Folsen here on Joy 99.7 FM. You know, you can just get renewed all day. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Neil Kine. I love, I totally love to listen to Fifi Folsen and uh, it's a joy. Two things that God can never do for himself is praising and worshiping himself. Are you a worshiper? Stick with Fifi Folsen. God bless you. Sonny Badu. Hello, my name is Koda and you are listening to Fifi Fawson. Come on, listen to Fifi Fawson. He is the best host. This is crazy, your thing. But for your mercies, where would I be? Where would I be? Fifi Fawson, my man. Hi, my name is Danny Nete. Don't touch that dial. Joy 99.7 FM. I love this station. That is great joy. I see you sing along. <laughs> How, can I How can I reject you when you first love me? <laughs> so this song takes us really, 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 really down memory lane. Good, good morning. Your life and joy, 99.7. Welcome to Up Close. So far, I've done uh, three songs. And, uh, you know, I struggled to select these songs because uh, Mama Mary has, uh, I almost said a billion songs. <laughs> 
<laughs> but she has a lot of songs. And today we'll be amazed to know some of the songs you've been singing in church. Yeah? You didn't know it was uh, her songs. Some artists have recorded them, Crapple. Today we'll expose all of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but of course, uh, we'll talk much about it. So, all of you who are watching us live on Facebook and YouTube, I encourage you to like, comment, and share. Get friends and family to connect. Today, we are hosting the legendary Reverend Dr. Mary Gansa. She's on up close and she's this close to me here in the studios. Mama Mary, good morning. Good morning, Susan. How are you? By the grace of God, I'm fine. You look fine every day. Do I? Yes, you do. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know, considering, I mean, I'm sure it's, uh, it's, uh, it's known that you are 60 plus, Yes, father, but yes, you look like 40, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, the secret is. I mean, you look forever young. If that is so, I give God the glory. Oh, but that's, <laughs> this is the first time I hear this. Yeah. Well, I hear people come yeah, and, and, and the sometimes truth. they are like, oh, is it the old Mary Gansa? And then I, I ask myself, which one? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Two versions. Old Two and versions. new. You've been like this ever since. And what's the secret? Do I even think about it? Mm. Um, I don't even think about it. But one thing I do is I make sure that me and God, I mean, we are fine. <laughs> I like that, right. I like this, this secret of fineness. Yeah, sometimes you may slip, but then, hey, mm. you should get up and just connect. Wow. And also not being bitter. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, uh, my mom in the lost days, it's not everyone who will love you. Mm. So if somebody loves you and celebrates you, go for it. If someone doesn't love you, appreciate you, just go for it. Look for people who love and celebrate you and just be with them. So no need to worry at all. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Biblical advice. Yeah. Well, here on Joy FM, and for that matter, on Up Close, and uh, by extension, everyone watching and listening, we celebrate you and we love you. Love you too. All the, if I'm not too wrong, I mean, in the span of my radio ministry, 15 years and counting, most and majority of the musicians I would interview, if I asked them, so tell me, who has inspired you on the journey? They go like, well, Mama Mary Gansa. Like, you know, wow. it's one name that would re repeat itself <laughs> all across. And uh, mm. I kind of feel like uh, you are the Methuselah of the... <laughs> You know, female gospel. Oh, I mean, you my. pay your dues. <laughs> I've not had the privilege to listen to um, most of them, though. Mm. But if they say so, then I give God the glory. I Amen. give God the glory that Amen. at least he puts someone there for them to look up to. So You've been there. How long have you been doing this specifically? Ah, over 40 years. Over 40 years. Mm. When you started singing, but I wasn't born. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I came to hear, so I mean, let me tell you this testimony. So the song I played, the last one I played, Sweet Sweet, Sweet Jesus, Jesus yeah. was my cousin who had returned from Wesley Girls High School, uh -huh. who was sharing her testimony of how she found Jesus. Okay. And she said, this song was ministered. This was a song wow. that made her give her life to Jesus. I thought, what song is wow. that? I should find it. And so that's how I discovered oh. Mama Mary Gansa and I'd oh. followed your ministry for a while. I had met you at Shangri-La those days playing the guitar and oh, singing. Yeah. You know, I followed you yeah. you know yeah so yeah. <laughs> thank you for doing what you do welcome Fifi I want to yeah. find out how did you get into the music scene where are you coming from coming from when I became a Christian in 74 uh, okay uh, in the era at that time it was um, uh, um, Dr. Mace Hotabel, the brother Edwin and Harold they were three brothers they had a fellowship in Tema called powerhouse mm. and in this powerhouse there's a um, our music director was pastor appenting he's now in kufrodia church on the rock mm. so one day uh was we fellowship and he said um if you come to church or fellowship and you stay you don't do anything you just come and listen to the word of god you go away the enemy will catch you somewhere and give you work to do. Mm. And uh, having said that, I considered it. And I said, oh, what can I do? What can I do? So they had a lot of departments. I decided to join the, the, the music department. Mm. And then uh, later on, joined the Glorious Vibration. Because I realized that 
when we come from school, there are other brothers also who are doing so well from Tamasco who also mm. joined the powerhouse ministry. Okay. And one of them I can remember is Morrison, Eben, and uh, Jaga, Jaga, that is Elias. So quickly, Morrison said, Mary, um, I want you to write a song. Mm. I'm like, oh, how can I write a song? You know, I can't write a song. He said, you are come. And because he's a kind of a strict person, uh, I had to pray to God because I didn't want to incur the wrath of Morrison. I prayed to God, ah, you should give me a song because, <laughs> because the um, three days time, Morrison will come and inspect it. God gave me a song. Unfortunately, I've not recorded that song. Oh that my song goodness. says, God is love. Yeah. Can you give God us an exclusive love. after how many years? Can you sing me a line <laughs> of that song? I want to hear it. That song yeah. says, I'm so happy. God is love. I'm so happy. God takes care. So don't be dismayed. Cast your worries on him. He will take care of you. God is love. Don't you worry. God is love. Come on. Don't be dismayed. God is love. He love. Love. I love this love song. And I love it, especially when I'm playing the guitar. But how come you've not recorded it? I, I'm surprised. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness huh? that i've not recorded the song i need to find a way and see if i can maybe advance it a little mm. uh, rearrange it and maybe no no you yeah. should you also should come record from god this. yeah uh, because sometimes you really need to wait okay uh-huh i forgot to drop that in your spirit i feel he just dropped it in your spirit today <laughs> So that's exclusive. <laughs> you know, let's stay here for a while. Okay. This song and many songs. Okay. Yeah. Can you just attempt to walk us through some of the songs that you've written for the body of Christ? Okay. Maybe I'll remember a few of them. No problem. Uh, I remember. Um, Oni pa ben po, ni wo en framam po, tie wo. I can remember. En I say so. I him or him. Uh, remember, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Um, and then, O Nyame O Saye, Nyame O Sena Se, Nyame Guama, Ye, Ye, Waye, O Yo Nyame O O Satrada, Ye Kutu O, Ye Sorry O. Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> there are plenty of Missy then come for war, Missy then you are your Missy then turn to more. Major, we have Jesus Woods in Oya Wanwa. Jesus Woods in Oya Kess, it's a Tiapono Mumbibi. And this song has a story. Okay. Yeah, this song, even though it's a kind of quiet on the low, but this song, <laughs> Tell me that what story. it has done and what it can do. You know, Fee, the Bible says, oh, taste and see mm. that the Lord is good. Mm. Sometimes God brings you to a place that you yourself, you cook, God said, eat. Mm. Taste and see mm. that the Lord is good. Because it is only when you have tasted that you can really recommend mm -hmm. boldly mm -hmm. but I mean, you are confident that i mean what you've cooked it's, mm. uh, it's in good taste mm. and this song is is one of them this song is wow. one of them as uh, jesus was in here one uh, one i had um, a medical condition that um doctors were contemplating whether i can make it or not mm. because earlier on some other doc doctors said um had the opinion that I wouldn't be able to make it. Mm. And I quite remember one of them even said, oh, even if we bring all the specialists from Kulebu, I don't think you, you'll make it. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. But then I remembered that um, the name of the Lord, mm. in Proverbs 18, 10, mm. 
as a, a, a strong tower. And it is only the righteous, according to the word of mm. God, that can run into it. Mm. The name of the Lord. Because if where I can go to physically are uh, saying they can't even guarantee whether wow. I can survive the surgery or not, then there's a place I need to look for. Mm. I need to discover something. And this scripture just dropped in my spirit. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. Then Psalm 24 also came at the same time to upon Asian doors, mm. the curses, the worries, and everything that the enemy has planned, he deals, things that he has put on my way to just to prevent me, to slow me down, to make sure that I wouldn't be able to do what I need to do, I want to short circuit mm. my life. Mm. You know, there's one thing that cannot be taken from me. That is the name of Jesus. Of Jesus, wow. Yes, the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. So, the song, mm. I recorded it in the midst of this issue and I put it on repeat because I had said everything I needed to say to God. Mm. I kept on running from here and there. I quite remember, I went to Dr. Ablo, that is missions. Mana is missions. Mission? Mana mission. Yeah, Seth Ablo. Then he started explaining things scientifically to me. I listened to it and he said, even if we have to speed up the surgery, Mary, we have to give you two, three months. You see, somebody who, who has been pre uh, prescribed that I need an urgent surgery. And wow. Dr. Ablo even was trying to be good. You know, he was prepared that the specialists are coming from America. And then, the, I mean, he's prepared to help me. But then three months, wow. can you imagine? But the name. Come on now. Anytime I kneel down. Mm. I listened to the song. I had said everything to God, what again? So quietly in my heart, quietly in my heart, I sing. I sing. Jesus would say no There's no other name. Maybe you know the name of a politician when it's mentioned. I mean, you get ghost pimples. I mean, <laughs> your, your horn begin to rise and, you know. But I'm telling you, that person will fade Ooh. and go away. You may see the person today, tomorrow, he's no more. I don't know what name you are leaning on today, but Ooh. I'm here to recommend a name. That is the name of Jesus. Mm. The Bible says the righteous will run into it. If you are hearing me and the sound of my voice, don't say I'm considering it. Oh, let me think about it. You need to get up, walker. Someone will say, sorry, Walker, get up, <laughs> run into that name. Ooh. And Bible promise to save you. You will be saved. Amen. So this name I tasted because I've been singing the song, mm. singing other name. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Singing other songs that contains the name of Jesus. But up close was this particular thing. I quite remember. The day of surgery, Dr. Cranton is also a pastor at Harvesters. He said, Mary, when I opened the door, I couldn't come near you. You were high, you were not here. Mm. Yes. He said, Mary, I couldn't, I couldn't come close. You were so high, so high in spirit because I needed to saturate myself with the name, that strong tower. I must make sure I'm there, not that my head is there, my leg is outside. Mm, hey, mm. the devil is going to pull me <laughs> out. <laughs> I must make sure I'm in, Ooh. I'm in, in the tower full. Mm. That's why we need to be careful. Sometimes one leg here, mm. one leg there, one hand here, one, and you one person. You are the property of so many people. Mm. This one is claiming you. This one is claiming you. My sister, my brother, that demand me. You see, you need to belong to one person. God says you cannot serve God and mammon. Mm. Belong to one person, Jesus, God, who created you, the right. author and the finisher of your faith. Now, this is Reverend Mary Ganser right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are preaching. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> and I love I'm it. talking about the name of Jesus. And I love it. And being sure that you are in the tower. Rightly Being so. sure you are in the tower. Ooh. Wow. Uh -huh. You are in the tower. Yeah. So after saturation, yeah. you came out of the surgery. Yes. And this is where you are. This is, this is where I am. So many years ago, yeah. you would have been with the Lord and yeah. wouldn't have, oh my God. Yes, it's true. 
Yes, it's true. You see, sometimes it's not everything that is the will of God. So you need to discern to know. If God says seven years or time is up, praise God. He is the author and the finisher. Mm. So if he brings you to the world and he says seven years, that's okay. Come home. Fine. But then there are other times it's not God who is, who is called you. Mm. But somebody or the devil intentionally mm. puts things in your way. And if you are not alert if you are not watchful or careful he will just steal you uh, i mean away and you may think right oh yeah can, so you can should you when can you yeah. flip this interview for me i mean this particular submission can you tell me a testimony you've also had okay by somebody through the, your songs hey. life and death hmm. just as you were because this is you listening to your own song <laughs> you know but but before yeah. before you answer though let yeah. me actually commend you like the songs you sang prior to all of this yeah. these songs have been a blessing to the body of christ there are people listening who had no idea even today they are like ah, are you sure yes all the songs she sang and more are songs that god gave to her now you're going to share that testimony right now if you you have any I'm sure you do quite a bit. Find a one. a lot. Even though I also don't remember a lot. But <sighs> I have a lot. Someone told me he was listening to the song and he started shaking. Mm. So he decided to put the cassette. Actually, he was being delivered. He mm. was being delivered from evil spirit. Mm. But because he did not know, you know, he decided rather to put away the the, uh, the cassette the, uh, that's uh, old school <laughs> yes he decided to put because he wanted to be free but he didn't know that the work has to be completed mm. because light and darkness cannot be together right. definitely there's going to be some friction mm. one must vacate so the song yeah. brings deliverance but how did you mm. you you talked about the fact that you it's not like you plan to sing is that how i, I get it you were in the church and after the word you felt guilty you're not serving so you joined the choir yes. uh, but did you prior to that have that desire to sing no 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 hey, no no <laughs> no 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 even though my uh, my uncle, Fass Anderson, who has composed a whole hymn book of Apostolic Fass Anderson. Oh, my wow. mom is an Anderson. Yeah, Fass uh, Anderson who did Era de Nemi Shefo, Asafo, Yehoaze, Muguro, Ma, No. But music is in the family. Asafo. Yeah. Wow, are you but not I interested? didn't want to. Oh, I didn't want to. <laughs> So you, I didn't. <laughs> can you imagine? I didn't. It wasn't part of the plan at all. Really? It wasn't plan, what was the part plan? of the plan. Actually, my plan was to be an air hostess, uh, yeah. to be a fashion designer, and, oh, some, yeah. and some other things. But I see the fashion yeah. designer. You do? In you. Oh. Yeah, I like it. You're, you have some swag. Oh, you know what? I wanted to support the work of God. And in my estimation, that is the only way I can get money to support the mm. work of god but me myself i didn't want to work for god but hey, i wanted to support to support but god says no 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 so no, you couldn't no. become the air hostess <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't ah. i couldn't mine was like a, the way i was arrested he, he got to a place plants. anywhere i went there'll be prophecy mm. anywhere i went People be crying, I'll be called upon. Mary, you are hardening your heart. And I'm like, oh, this heart. I'm not hardening. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm Lord going, had an I'm, assignment I'm, for you. Yes. I go to Mensa, I go to Fugos. Like, hey. So at what point did you decide that? Was it after you had to write a song for Pastor Morrison? No, Pastor Morrison was rather a music director. Director. Uh, he was the one who charged you to write a song, I mean. Yeah, told uh -huh. you to write the so song. So was it after yeah. that song, no, that you decided that, okay, finally, uh, I, I, will, I will serve, I will sing? Yeah, now I have to leave everything and, and serve. There was a, a one, there was one particular prophecy I couldn't stand, one in Kumasi and then one in uh, Tama. A pastor walked to my house and... Uh, I said, oh, please the, the, have a seat. He said, no, um, that's a word from the Lord. So I knelt down. I knelt down. And then the word of God came to me. If I refused, what was going to happen to me? So there and then I lifted my hand. I said, oh, God, please, if it's me you want to use, uh -huh. if it's me that you want to use, I'm available. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm available. And it came in a different way, Fifi. Mm, mm. It came in a different way, Kra. It came in a different way. First, Fifi, I can really 
be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And if I begin to prophesy three hours, I hey. begin to prophesy, and I wouldn't even know what I was saying, wow. ministering to people and praying for people one by one, one by one, and all through music. And at Meridian Hotel, at Meridian Hotel, sometimes people meet me. So I meet other pastors who seem to know even more about me than I know myself. Mm. And they begin to share some of the things with me. And I say, indeed, God is God. Sometimes it brings tears to my eye. And I said, oh, God. If you mean listen to you and I'm like, cheery, I'm like, Like oh, James John and God. Peter, they said, God, let's stay on the mountain. I wish, yeah, yeah. So, can, can you imagine um, if you didn't do this? Yeah, it's true. Like all the songs and um, people looking up to you wow. would have been uh, something. I'm, I'm, God would have found another person, though. But that means I thank that God I Your did. lashes would have been different. It, it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> but but over the period, and like I'm saying, there are people who tell me, Mama Mary, paint a picture to me those days. Who were the musicians there on the time? Did you did you, who did you really okay. look up to? Uh, um, the the Kwashi sisters. There were three fat ladies. Mm. Uh, fat ladies. One I remember was Gloria. Uh -huh. Three fat ladies. Later on, one died. Two left for US because I can't find some of my videos. Some of them are small because they even ministered oh. during my program at Meridian Hotel. They were the ones there because they were the ones I've seen on telly during our visitation. That is the hostess program. So. Uh, they were the people I was the admiring. The Kwashi sisters. The Kwashi sisters. Okay. Yeah, you should find them. Yeah, so I they mean, yeah, came to Meridian when I was doing, it used to be prison worship in Zion. Mm. Those days, anytime I had a program, it was prison worship in Zion. Mm. Yeah, in Zion. And sometimes I hold it for three days. And I went all over Ghana with this. Um, prison worship in, in Zion. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. Wow, yes, all over yeah. Ghana. All, all, all over, all over, all, all over. I, I, I wouldn't say I, I covered all. But by extension. Yeah, I was able to, yeah. That means you, you, were, you were rich. No. But those days, even now, I can't travel in Pono. You, uh, and you, you, were, uh, you were traveling in... It uh, was fatal. Sometimes <laughs> you are insulted. <laughs> really? Sometimes you are owing. Mm. Sometimes you are insulted. You know, and so it was not easy. It's, it, it wasn't easy those days at all. I quite remember one day I went to one of the financial institutions. I've forgotten the name. They used to be at Tema, Top Hat, Top I don't know, Top Hat in Tema Community too, around the post office. I wanted to go and borrow money for one of these programs. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as I went, the man, I hadn't spoken, but my letter had gone ahead of me mm. and i was asked to report personally the moment the man so he said ah are you not the one who have been singing hallelujah in the churches mm. he looked at me i said yes <laughs> um, <laughs> yes then he said ah so your christians mm. they couldn't help you mm. this hates me oh my gosh this hates me after oh i settled down for a while i decided to go out i didn't even assess the loan i didn't mm. know whether they had planned to give me the mm. loan or not I didn't stay. I left. And uh, I spoke to God. I said, oh, God, did you hear that? God, you need to provide. Mm. You really need to provide. So I quite remember Reverend Amakon, God laid his on, on his heart. And uh, he decided to give me his instrument all the way from Kumasi. Who is Reverend Amakon? Reverend Amakon. The, the late evangelist. Reverend Amakon. Yes. Please. Oh, you met him? Yes, I met him. Wow. Yeah, I met him. I see why the daughters of glory Jesus talk about you. <laughs> Take what is talk. I'm telling you, all of them, they're yeah. like, Mama Mary Gansa. Mm. Like, there was something about you. You were selfless mm. at this. There was a question I think I missed. Let me Is just it? retract a little. Uh -huh. Like, the songs. How, how do you get them? Hmm. Fee. It, it's in different forms. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I have to be in the presence of God. Just be there, waiting. And in that state with my guitar, I can write 10, 20 songs. So I'm always, my phone is full. Wow. Two, three phones, they are all full. Sometimes I buy phone because I want to record, not because it's for phone call. Do you need a new one? During? Do you need a new phone? I, yes, I need okay. a new phone. Yeah, yeah. Those with who are bigger, listening. 
With a bigger memory. Yeah. Yeah, with a bigger memory. I've started seeing messages. They say your yes, songs have blessed them. The latest them. one. Ye ni adoye. I was rehearsing with my keyboard. And uh, I heard, sometimes it looks like the angels are singing. Wow. So I told, I said, Joshua, don't touch the keyboard again. Just be quiet. Mm. So I started singing what they were singing to me. You know. Mm. You know, so I finished singing. I said, Joshua, you can now play. And that's the record, my latest, the one we have now. Sometimes in a dream, like Onipa Ben, I was tapped. Pa, 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 get up and write. Who tapped you? Ah. Ah. Wow. Oh, yeah. And I wrote the three verses, you know. Uh, and I said, saw him, oh him. I was in the, in the office, one of the uh, ministry's office. And I had, sometimes, you know, the angels will come. They will sing. Sometimes it doesn't matter whether you are pounding fufu or whatever. When they, I, I just know. And sometimes, so as I read the word of God, that one takes quite some time. Wow. Yeah, but when they come singing to me, that one, oh, that one. The angels, yeah, they sing to one, you. That one, that, it looks like. Your, your like, left ear yeah, or your I, right I ear? I think it's inspiration. <laughs> no, it just come. You hear the words, you hear the melody. Well, I love this. And, and oh yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm only doing this interview and I'm excited hearing this. Uh, <laughs> I wonder, somebody's asking, but how can me do, how can I receive like that? What, <laughs> what do you do? Are you like the prayer person? You know, I mean, it, you, you mentioned that when uh, the choir director, Morrison, asked you to write a song, yeah. you went to God and said, God, you know what? In three yeah. days' time, he's coming to give me a holler. Give me a song. <laughs> it's true, because I didn't done that before. Is, is that your prayer? Is that your prayer every day? You know? Yes. Fee, there was a time. Because of the rate I write songs, eh? mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about the grace of God. I hadn't thought. Mm. Then there was a period I couldn't write songs. Oh, wow. Yeah. If I pick the guitar, nothing comes on me. Then I said, ah, God. So it's been by your grace. Then I'm asking you again. Mm. God revived this gift in me again. And lo and behold, it started again. You know, because it comes and come in the car. So in the car, always I want to be alone, because I'm writing songs. Always my phone is on record. I'm writing. So sometimes short, short, short choruses. Sometimes full. I see. Line. Oh yeah. So please, oh, listen. If you see Auntie Mary and she doesn't give you a lift, it's not because <laughs> she's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> she she has an expectation. <laughs> she might be getting some songs that you'll be dis disturbing her with your chat. So wow, but 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 but, but, I, but I love this. You know, let me today. I'm looking at my time like, oh my gosh, oh, oh my, my gosh, there's too so much to time. ask. You know, but but thank you already for sharing what you have shared yeah. so far. I want us to go to the days of music. Um, you started uh, ministering all across till you I don't know which one came first recording like on cassettes did you start that before you started no. doing that that you were going around before Reverend, you started yes we're going around with the music the recording was rather started by Reverend Amaku he started recording my songs oh really oh yeah Reverend Amaku started recording my songs yeah even before I did the actual recording what, when you say recording like recording like in, the, in the live service Piamo uh, Oh, wow, I like the of, sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Piamonko. The cassette. Okay. You know, because of his preaching, mm. uh, he used to have this kind of um, uh, a recorder. Recorder. You know, so he started Piamonko. recording my song I like and that selling one. it because, yeah, those days if I sing to Minister well, with my guitar, people like it. So it's wow. like Mary, you know, and oh, then I'll I start see. with tongues. Even sometimes Katamanto, this, you know, some of them started laughing because if you slot in my cousin, oh, Rama, Mayan, Dale, Babo, Yande, we are praying, we are worshiping because mm. God said I should do this for his people. Mm. You know, then I went and did, I ain't for you, no Rebo, on Ambrebo Rebo, Revolution has so even done a remix of that. Well, my Embo, no, oh, say ye, oh, say ye, da. Because ah, if God says I should go and do worship for his people, so that if the elder is not there, the f pastor is not there, and the Christian is low, he can just slot in the cassette, you know, and he'll be revived, mm. he'll be refreshed, mm. you know. Mm. And that's how Kamonipa Beneo came. So with Tony Pabe, you know, I have to go to Ghana Forms with Wat on Chin with the whole <laughs> instrument. I'm loving the term this morning. Gets. And Bora was there. Bora 
Borax was the one who played the lead on that Borax song. is my cousin. Oh, Borax. Oh, he cousin? plays the bass. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he plays the lead also. Exactly. I mean, yeah. he's like a, a yeah. music person. Oh, yeah. Borax. Oh, yeah. Borax was the one who played at that time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Borax. Yeah. You have, you have yeah. inspired a generation yeah. and more. Oh. Give God the glory. I mean, I must say without missing words, so you must be celebrated. Ah. Like, you know, the musicians are cross. Like, mm. people are singing your song. You know, the first time I heard uh, Yen Eja. Uh, Yen Eja. Um, who, I think I heard Alabaster Box. Oh, yeah. Sammy you told know. me. And and I love yeah. the song. And yeah. they said yeah. that. Oh, also, yeah. Yes. And so I said, yeah. ah. they said, no, it's not our song. Go. It's <laughs> Mama Mary Gass's song. And I said, okay, this woman, I think that. Are you aware of all the songs you have? Uh, not all. Sometimes I go to a place. I think I was in Holland and they had translated my song into English. Okay. And I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. So when they finished the service, Reverend Romeo came and said, Mary, you not to wound man. He is in action chap. So Mary, I want you to He said, the one in, in English. I said, hey, is that so? He said, yes, I translated it into English. And because wow. he himself is a, a pianist, he's been able to, oh my God, transform the song. And that is, oh, Guama, oh, Fata, oh, Guama, That's your song, too. Oh, Yakutu, Nyame. Hallelujah. What song in Ghana is not your song? <laughs> oh, a lot, a lot, a lot, my son. <laughs> a lot, a lot, my you son. You have a I lot just of a few. uplifting songs. <laughs> how many, how many songs do you think you have? Oh, it's a lot. I think the ones I've not recorded is even more than mm. the one I've recorded. A lot. A lot. Um, a lot. Will you, are you going to give some out? Do you have a uh, Do you have a desire to raise a generation oh, where you would just oh, allow yeah. them to record your songs? Yeah, that's one girl Nancy that I wrote a whole album for. Oh, you I have? think she wants to um, adore this album in January. I pray oh, really? God helps I like to hear that. to bring. Oh yeah, a whole album because he had a challenge. She recorded, and then there was an issue, and this thing was weighing her down. I said, Look here, I'm going to write a song for you. Yeah, even though I own the copyright, but you can call it your own song. Be proud of it and mm. just, you know, take Do you it. have any mentorship school? Do you have oh. people who come to you and say, we want you to mentor us? Yeah, some are from afar. Mm. Some also, you know. Um, formerly, uh, I used to have this full-time band because of the way I travel. Because sometimes one week travel, three days travel. So normally, you know, they they come to my house and we pray fully. So that was the time that um, people used to be close to me for mentorship. You mm. know, they come. Even one to his luncheon, her album, I think 12th December also, Hannah Dugan also. Yeah, it's my friend, that does not say he's in the U.S. It's also, sometimes I can remember a few. Mm. Uh -huh. So some are close, some are from afar. I see. Yeah, some are from afar. Tell me yeah. about your contemporaries. Around the time that you were singing, who were those around? Oh, okay. Later on, I met, uh, later on I met Amy. Later Mama on, Amy Newman. Yeah, later yeah. on I met Amy. I'm, oh, I met uh, Mama Esther. <laughs> Mama is a okay. Yeah, it's a too. And Rosebud, that is a bishop, um, Douglas Frempons' wife. Mm -hmm. And Openg Kojotre, the wife also sings. Oh, the really? Wife is also Mary. She also sings. I see. Yeah, I met them also. I met Kofi Abraham. Uh, because of this Kumasi thing, Reverend Maku used to invite me mm. to Kumasi. I was able, yeah. Later, I met Tego. Uh, sisters. As for daughters, I had always seen them anytime they close from school. You oh. know, they, uh, when they close from school, <laughs> I like they, that. you know, Reverend Mark will have a program and we'll have it in the morning, evening. Mm. Uh -huh. So when they close from morning, they will come and then you see Cynthia. So Cynthia used to play my drums. Oh, really? Oh, Cynthia, yeah. Of daughters yeah, of Lord Jesus. Yes, play. I had a drama called Nicholas. And when Nicholas plays a drum, he's like, and yes, honey, I'm going to and then she would just take over 
and, oh, and play. Wow. Oh, yeah, Cynthia. I like to bring yeah. in one of these days. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, you, you'll yeah. be the blessing. I mean, you know, I'm seeing messages. You know what? If you're watching, you're listening, okay, this is what we'll do. I cannot promise that I'll be able to read all your messages to her, but I can promise you one thing, that I'll forward all to her. We need to encourage her. She needs to hear all of these that her mm-hmm. ministry has done, okay? If you're watching, you're listening, her songs have been the blessing. Share a testimony, okay? Go on our page on Facebook and YouTube and write something down, right? And let's uh, let's honor the gift that the Lord has blessed us with. Now, you mentioned uh, you started recording on cassettes and uh, all that journey. I want to look at the music production then, okay? And uh, let me particularly stay on the content, the okay? Content, okay. The, the message then yeah, yeah. and now. Is there any difference? Uh, slightly. Can you explain that? Uh-huh, slightly. You see, those days we were singing the word of God mostly. Okay. The word of God uh, mostly. And uh, because of the inspiration, you know, we read and then the song comes in the form of melody. Mm. Uh, for instance, if you listen to Nyamendai, he says, he never, he, the one who watches us, never slumbers nor sleeps. Mm. One of my favorites. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Seek and mm. you shall find him. Mm. Uh-huh. So if you do a song like that, a s- scripture, and then there are other songs I cannot say. And this time there, there have been a lot of acronyms or is it acronyms <laughs> or something. People can sing. They can say, Ajay, Ajay. So I don't know. <laughs> Whether the AJ is, is, is part, Ooh. drives away demons. Oh my goodness. Or it's an expression. The sick. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. But then you are ministering. You see, you can't. Fancy me going to find your rough at the same time. I expect the wedding to move. You read Zagor. Mm. And that's why most, more than a song comes. He said, These people, that is Isaiah 29, 30, it says, These people, they make, they make fun of me with their lips, but they don't even think about me. Mm. They make fun of me with their lips, but they don't even think about me. They are far. Mm. They are far. And you see, we must be careful. Sometimes, in the attempt to please people or maybe to be accepted you know we stand in the middle we are not purely we are doing gospel but we are a little bit secular and we are we are in it so that when mm. there are parties we can also be called upon <laughs> so that when they are y- y- you know uh-huh. so i don't know so sometimes i sit back and i listen to uh, some of them I wouldn't say I have accomplished anything yet. I'm also um, like uh, I'm also trying to live right and to write good songs. I wouldn't say I'm the best or I have attained anything. I would say that whatever I've been able to do has come because of the grace of God. Yeah, it is here that I will advise my own people mm. that I beg them. God is depending on us. He's looking up to us and we can't afford to play church we, we can't afford to do that it's a serious business because it's not everything that um, um, what do I say because I've, I've also realized that sometimes we go to church or a program they say we have reached the most important aspect of the program <laughs> it means the man of God is coming to <laughs> preach you know but I've also realized mm. that that is in, in in chronicles where the 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 musicians and the instrumentalists were as one to make one sound unto God that the, the, the that, that the glory of God for the temple mm. so where was the ministers part one part two part three series mm. God have to hold it for another time mm. because the musicians had taken their position you see we need to take our position we need to stand where God wants us to stand we need to take our position be alert like Habakkuk said I will stand on my watch you know to hear what God or to see what God mm. has for me it, we, we need to take charge we need to stand it's a serious business we can't play and expect God to move 
So now we have we are plenty. We are a lot. The work should have been easier. Mm -hmm. But still, we are praying that, oh God, hold this sister. We rise and show them a shop of Please, God. I get please, you. Hold. Uh -huh. I see. You see, we are praying that at least we keep our feet mm. together mm. in the mm. kingdom. I see. You know, God should have mercy sure. on us. Uh -huh. We should have me, myself. I'm praying that God should keep me in there. Mm. God should keep me in there. You are blessed. You know, because look at the, 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 the devil who was not ashamed but went to Jesus and said, look at the glories of the world. Mm. Look at the kingdom. Look at all that I've got. If you <laughs> just worship me, I'm I going know. to provide you. So truly, if you stand one leg here one day, you can make it. Mm. Anyway, and that's what people like. Mercy. Uh, because it's expensive to do music these days. It is. And we want quick money also. So, you know, but then, if you remember that your work will go through fire one day, mm. then you'll be careful how we build and what. Oof. Did you make money those days? Were you charging? I've never charged before. Even till now? Till now. I've never charged before. I've, well, I've never, I've never charged. Before. Those days and now, how were you being taken care of financially? Were they sorting you out? Sometimes. Oh. They'll bless me. Sometimes too, they wouldn't. I quite remember one Nigerian came to Ghana called Reverend Rubin in Zimadu. He said, he called me one day during a crusade. That time it was a white lady called Judy Ellington. He came to do a crusade at, uh, hold a crusade at Tema Community Centre. So the man of God sent for me and he said, Mary, anytime I come, I give a donation to this church who invited me. But today I was praying when I knelt down, God says, Remember my hand made the Mary Gansa. And that was the first time I bought extension board. I was so happy. Extension oh. board. Oh, yeah. As board a while. Yeah, boy, I was why you most oh, yeah. oh, yes. On your cap. <laughs> I was so happy. You know that this wow. man has heard the voice of God. And I can buy extension. So even up to now, if you bless me, praise God. If you don't, God is able. God so, when you're traveling same. through and you're looking for loan and things, and all, uh -huh. there were times yeah. that you are going uh -huh. somewhere, they won't give you jack. Oh, yes, yes. You are the instrumentalist. You hey. are the instrumentalist. Yeah. So how are you yeah. taking care of them? Yeah, by faith. Sometimes I explain things to them. Sometimes I need to find money to give them transport because others have come from afar, like Nana said, coming from Medina, Accra to Tema, oh. and then you ask the person to go. Uh, at, no. Has it you changed know, now? So. Has it changed? Oh, these days, you see, uh, like our ex-president said, you know, go sit down, make them cheat us. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some section, <laughs> some section of, uh, <laughs> of the gospel musicians have also realized that, oh, if we look at the old people, they've not been able to make much mm. at all. So why don't we also uh, develop a strategy okay. to live? They want to live. So they said, now you pay me, you pay me half. That is advance. And then you you finish payment is it bad? after administration. Is it bad? Oh, like it's not bad because Bible itself says you should not muzzle the mouth of the mm. ox and that tread upon the coin. It's not bad. But how it is done. Mm. And sometimes also we need to look around uh, where we are being invited and the charge. Is it okay? Your conscience, is, mm. it, is it okay? You know, so there are a lot of questions you yourself need to ask mm. and see what makes you even fulfilled. Do you, mm. have, do you have regrets? No. None? Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't. What gets you going? Like, you know, why haven't you given up all these years? It's been God. I'm looking forward to, I, I mean, to the day God will also tell me, uh, uh, faithful servant, mm. you have done well. You have been faithful in the little I gave you. You said God himself, and the Bible says that according to the uh, talent, the story of the talent, mm -hmm. the man himself distributed the talent. It mm. wasn't the people mm. who chose the talent. Mm. It wasn't the people. God, look at how he knits you, how he forms us. And he says, let me give this one 10 talents. Let me give this one two. 
or five. Let me give this one one. So it's not that you chose, mm. but God Himself looks at you and He said, "You, you, the way I made you, you are fit for this. Mm. You are fit for less. You are fit for this." Mm. So if somebody is comparing, or if I need to compare myself to people, maybe ministering to thousands of people, ministering to hundred, ministering to fifty. It's not the multitude or how much I've got financially mm. that makes me successful. But it's how I'm fulfilled and doing what God wants me to do. Because sometimes okay. I might be able to attain more financially and even physically. And it is not God. God is saying no, 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 no. If you had the chance to change anything in life, what would you have changed? To change anything in my life? Hmm. Being a Ghanaian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Being a I've not completed. No. I'm okay. not complete. okay. Being a Ghanaian gospel musician, me. I would have, I would have loved that if I stand here to minister, I should reach. Ah, that's where how, that's how you, you uh -huh. <laughs> being a Ghanaian from where I sit, you know, from where I sit. Okay. You, know, you know, sometimes from where people sit, they sit at the trunk of the elephant. They see big things, they mm. do big things. Some of us are seated maybe uh, at the leg side, <laughs> and uh, you know, so. <laughs> well, wait, hold up. Let me play this a song small. Let okay. me play it small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing small pet in the background and uh, she told you how she got it. Yeah, uh, it was angelically produced. So if you encountered and experienced the presence of God with Reverend Mary Gansad at Chimoda in 1994, it was like I stood on a calabash. Reverend Michael of being entry. Hey, Auntie Mary. Ah, as for the testimonies, they are plenty. So keep them coming, okay? We'll forward it to her. I know she's on social media, but before we actually uh, uh, share her handles, let's talk about your upcoming event, More mm. Than a Song. More than Give a us song. all the details we need and uh, uh, how we can be a part. Yeah, More Than a Song is happening live mm. a week today at ICGC, Calvary Temple, 5 o'clock sharp. And uh, ministering, uh, it's um, S.P. Sapong. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Minister Sly Seidu. Yeah. We have uh, Noble Nketia. We have Reverend Mike Antonio. We have Reverend Edwin Datsun. We have Esther PSA. We have uh, uh, Josephine Beidu Dazi. Mm -hmm. We have Abna Ruthie. Mm hmm I hope I've not left him. Well, I we think that there's Boateng. Noble yeah. Ligeta is also somewhere there. Yeah. Yeah. We have Selena Boateng. Uh, so, wombs of um, Worship, beautiful. Wombs of Worship. Melodians. Yeah. Sort of Gideon. Sort of Gideon. You see, Fifi, you know why I added the choirs? Mm. Sometimes we are with them in-house, and we don't even appreciate their gifts. Mm -hmm. And then it is when we've brought somebody from our side that we want to know our in-house choirs. They are as good as the outside stars. I, I don't I don't disagree with you at all. Yes, our in-house choirs. So I mean, I'm somebody who wants to go with them. Okay, so Even you're, you're going to have a feel minutes, of the minutes. choirs. It's yeah. okay. So this is 5th December. Yes, please. Okay, at yeah. 5 p.m., ICGC Calvary yeah. Temple, Spinkters Road. Yeah. More than a song, God's yeah. goodness and mercy, and it's absolutely free. Mm. Is it yes. free? Yes. Are you launching anything on that day? Uh, no. You won't? Yet, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. If oh. I want to launch anything, it will be exclusive. Okay. <laughs> be exclusive. I and I want that. them to come with their hearts, mm -hmm. 
you know, lip service, you know, uh -huh. it, it shouldn't, mm. you know. Calm. You um, take stock from January to December. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Auntie May, I've been yeah. looking forward to this interview. Uh, her songs have been a blessing to me growing up as a young Christian in Ghana. And this is coming from Auntie Mary uh, Ato, uh, Sweden. Okay, thank you very Sweden. much. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Auntie Mary, I've got two minutes with you. I'm going to make the best out of it. Uh, family, remember, you should be part of more than a song. Uh, mm -hmm. It's happening on the 5th of December, yeah. 5 p.m. ICGC Calvary Temple on the Sphinx's Road. And all these great ministers are going to support Mama Mary Gansha. I mean, um, I don't know whether you've had the, the privilege to write uh, songs to talk about social issues, etc. But oh, I, 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 want, I want you to... I want you to have you written one for the I've LGBTQ written, plus? No, but I did one for energy for um, how we load, uh, loiter uh, this around plastic, plastic. Okay, uh, like uh, bags. But but how about I've got a minute for you? How about the LGBT? Are you gonna write a song? Yeah. A song on that? If God lays it on my heart, I've already told you it's my inspiration. Okay. If God says get up and write, I will get up. But and what's write. your take on, on on this whole topic? Oh, you see. I'm waiting for the day someone will come or the day I will hear that uh, another man or a scientist have um, um, been able to create the sun. The sun. Yeah, if you're unable to create the sun, then you can't change the form of, um, I mean, if you're a man, you're a man. That is determined by God. So mm. you can't say, oh, you wanted to be a lady and God and you are. And no, 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 no. Something is not right there. How do we Something find you on social right. media? Uh, on Facebook, it's Mary Gansa. Okay. Uh, Twitter is Mary Gansa. And then uh, Instagram, yeah. Okay. Also. Mary so Gansha, please yeah. find Mary her. Gansha. Let's find her. Let's yeah. celebrate her. Mary okay. Gansha. We're going to get you a new phone. I mean, we should get her a new phone with a big size, you know, so she can record all her songs. <laughs> if you're following, please uh, celebrate her. Okay. She's a blessed. I wish I had more time they for You can also go to my website. Okay. Yeah. MaryGansha.com. Yeah. MaryGansha. Yeah, online. Online. Yeah. Dot com. Okay. Yeah, so well, Mary, thank you very much for being welcome, uh, our distinguished guest this yeah. morning. Enjoy gospel. We had a good yeah. time with you, and we hope to do this some other time. I appreciate few people. Uh, my time is out. Yeah. Oh, Joy <laughs> FM, pull my energy and react. Carry tempo. Hey. <laughs> The veteran had to, <laughs> had to squeeze that in. Yeah. Wow. Roland, thank you for technical production. <laughs> Michaela, thank you for producing. <laughs> my name is P.P. Falls. We are back mm -hmm. next week. Well, Empress Gifty is my guest next week. Uh -huh. May God's grace see all of us through every life's race with the next job page. No enemy can chase. Charlie. Right. So let's have headlines at 10. Barely